Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to talk about resistivity, its importance and application and we will solve some question on resistivity. So before we get the idea of resistivity we have to talk about resistance first. So let's understand the resistance using this example. So if you compare the first two roads as you can see the length of the second road is more so only fast moving cars can cross the second road at a time so the longer road will offer more resistance to the flow of car and if you compare the first and the third as you can see it will allow more car to move at a time so it offers less resistance to the flow of car and if if you compare first and the fourth as you can see fourth road is rough so it offers more resistance to the flow of car so is if i play the video as you can see so less car more resistance more car less resistance less car more resistance so resistance depends on length resistance depends on the area and resistance depends on the nature of the road now if you take the example of conductor replace the road by conductor and car by current then in longer conductor charge has to move long path so it offers more resistance and if you compare with the thicker uh, conductor so it offers path for more charge to flow so it it will give less resistance and if you compare two conductors of same size one copper another iron so it is same as the case of smooth road and rough road so copper will give smooth road so it is having less resistance and iron will give difficult path for the current so it will offer more resistance so now from this activity we have understood that resistance is directly proportional to length if the length increases the resistance increases and resistance is inversely proportional to the cross section area if area is more resistance is less as we have seen in the previous example so if you combine this two I'll get R is proportional to L by A and if you remove this proportionality sign by equal to sign you have to put one constant and that constant is called resistivity so I can read the formula as resistance is equal to resistivity into length by area and this resistivity is a constant and it never changes so as I've said so resistance may change but resistivity of a material never changes so let's take the <coughs> formula again so this is resistance is equal to rho L by A so I'll flip the equation so I can write rho L by A is equal to R so if you take this L and A this side so this is the formula for resistivity resistivity rho is equal to r e divided by l so now let's define resistivity so in order to define resistivity i have to take the formula then if you take this a to be one meter square that is area and length to be one meter then you will get rho is equal to r instead of a i'm putting one instead of l i'm putting one so you'll get one by one that is one so you'll get rho is equal to r so your resistivity is equal to resistance when you take a conductor of length one meter and area one meter square so let's see the definition then the resistivity of a material is equal to the resistance of a wire of material of unit length that is one meter and unit cross section area one meter square and in another way you can say 
the resistivity of a material of a conductor is equal to the resistance of cube of that material of side 1 meter so let's see so if you take a conductor of length 1 meter and area 1 meter square that time your resistivity and resistance will be equal and instead of taking cylindrical conductor if you take cube so that time the resistance of a cube of 1 meter length will be equal to the resistivity so unit of resistivity for that I need to write the formula so resistivity is resistance time area by length so unit of resistivity again I'll write the unit of resistance is ohm unit of area is meter square and unit of length is meter so this 1 meter and meter square get cancelled and I'll left with ohm meter so unit of resistivity is ohm meter now this is a chart showing the resistivity of different materials so this metals like copper aluminium and gold they have low resistivity and the metals like tungsten and alloy like nichrome they have high resistivity so now let's compare the metals and alloys in terms of their resistivity so metals like copper and aluminium and alloys are constantin and nichrome and metals have low resistivity and alloys have high resistivity so as they have low resistivity or resistance that's why they are used in power transmission cable and electric wire and alloys they are used in heater coil because they give high they have high resistivity so if the question comes why is copper used in power transmission so you have to say because they have low resistivity so one more example we, I'll take is the filament of bulbs are made out of tungsten and you can say why because it has got high resistivity so for resistivity you may get three kinds of numericals in one kind length will be given in meter and area will be given in meter square all in SI unit so you can directly put the values and get the answer in second type the length and area will not be given in SI unit they can be in centimeter or millimeter in this kind of question you have to convert it into SI unit that is meter and meter square in third case area will not be given only radius or diameter will be given so you have to find the area first and you have to put the area in the formula to get the answer so we'll be solving this two type of question in this video and for this question I'm uploading another video so you can check this video afterwards so I'll be giving the details in description box so let's solve one question on resistivity so calculate the resistance of a wire of length 0.9 meter and area of cross section 3 meter square resistivity of the conductor is 5 into 10 to the power 2 ohm meter so this is a straightforward question so as you can see this units are given in SI unit so given so length is given 0 0.9 area of cross section is 3 meter square and resistivity is 5 into 10 to the power 2 ohm meter so resistance I need to find so I'll write the formula directly and I'll put the value so rho is 5 into 10 to the power 2 length is 0 0.9 and area is 3 so I'll keep the power of 10 aside so I'll multiply 5 into 0 0.9 that will be 4.5 and 3 so and if you solve this you'll get 1.5 and 10 square is 100 so 1.5 into 100 is 150 so resistance is 150 ohm okay you can try this question it is based on the same principle that I have done before so this is the next kind of question so and the problem with this question is units are not SI unit so let's see how to do this 
so given this length is given that is 40 centimeter and it is not SI unit so I'll convert it into meter so before that I should know that centi means 1 by 100 and milli means 1 by 1000 memorize it centi means 1 by 100 milli means 1 by 1000 so as I don't need centi out here so what I'll write 1 by 100 so is equal to 40 instead of centi I've written 1 by 100 meter so now I'll cancel to zeros and this 10 can be written as 10 to the power 1 and when it goes up it will become 10 to the power minus 1 meter so next thing which is given is area of cross section so area is 2 centimeter square so again the problem it is given in centimeter square I need to convert it into meter square so this 2 centimeter square I can write 2 bracket centimeter whole square so because uh, square of centi in meter so again we know the value of centi is 1 by 100 so I put 1 by 100 now when I square 1 by 100 so it will be 2 into 1 by 100 square into meter square now 2 into 100 by 100 meter square so now I got the meter square now I'll just write 100 into 100 is 10,000 and 10,000 is 1 I need to count the 0 1 2 3 4 so 10 power 4 2 by 10 power 4 meter square and I'm taking this 10 power 4 up so it will become 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square so I got the area also which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 meter square now we can solve it the same way we have solved before so uh, resistance is given so I need to find the resistivity so this is the formula of resistance R is equal to rho L by A I'll flip the equation and I'll write rho is equal to this L will go down A will go up so resistivity is R A by L now I'll put the values so instead of resistance I'll put 5 instead of area I'll write 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 and instead of L I'm writing 4 into 10 to the power minus 1 so now I can multiply this 5 and 2 so that is 10 and 4 into 10 to the power 1 so I'll separate the powers of 10 so it will be 10 by 4 into 10 to the power 4 and this 10 to the power minus 1 will go up and it will become 10 to the power plus 1 so I'll solve again now 10 by 4 is 2.5 and I have to take care of this power so this will be minus 4 plus 1 and if you subtract it you will get 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 so now this is the for, uh, final answer just I need to write the unit as we already know the unit of resistivity is ohm meter so we got the answer so you can pause the video and copy this and if you don't understand go back and check how it's done so next you can try this questions pause the video and copy the question and this question I want you to give the answer in comment box try this and give your answer and please don't forget to oh,